In this brooder, I have 40 eggs that never hatched. Something went terribly wrong. And today we're gonna try to figure out what went wrong. We're also gonna crack open a couple of them to see what a nearly hatched duck look like. But first we need to feed some lambs. I started to feed the lambs with this bucket uh, that has five nipples on it and uh, it makes the whole job a lot easier. This way they have free access to milk and can go and drink whenever they want. And I initially thought that they would explode uh, from drinking too much milk. But the thing is when I feed them with the bottle they are so hungry uh, so they eat more than their small stomachs can handle. But using this system they can distribute the milk uh, a lot better than I can. The only challenge is that not all of them have made the transition to the bigger nipples. So there are three of them that don't understand what to do so I still have to uh, hand feed those. And it's a strange thing because uh, Johnny is the biggest one and you would think that he uh, could figure it out but he only chews on the nipple and destroys it instead of uh, sucking on it resulting in damaged nipples and uh, leakage of milk and this is Arnie he finally got a name too his brother is Johnny uh, John Rambo and he got that name from a viewer called Greg uh, who thought that since we have uh, John Rambo played by uh, Sylvester Stallone we also needed Terminator uh, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger so uh, this is uh, Johnny and Arnie so the thing with the brooder is that it's mimicking a mother duck who gathers all the eggs and lays on them. So the brooder is set for 37 and a half degrees and 50% uh, humidity. A mother duck would also leave the eggs a couple of times a day to, uh, to go and eat and drink. So the eggs will be left in the open. So you do that with the brooder as well. You open the lid for a couple of minutes and let it air out and then you put it back on. You also turn the eggs a couple of times a day so that it won't stick to one of the sides. And this specific machine has automatic turning, so I've set it to turn uh, every other hour, I think. And there may be in some of these settings that the mistake has been done and that has led to this miserable result. I did follow the manual though, uh, that came with the box, but... <clears throat> If you remember from a couple of videos ago, I was surprised by the sudden development from one of the eggs. Uh, I had one hole. There was one small duckling that wanted to come out. And that was it. Nothing more happened. Uh, I didn't want to intervene and waited for the, all the other eggs to, to start. Uh, so of course, after a couple of days, uh, there was no sound from the one that made the hole. So he didn't make it. I'm also instructed to not help them out, uh, crack the egg open for them. And a week went by and uh, still nothing. Uh, some of the eggs were to hatch at 28 days and some of them at 35. And um, here we are at day 40 and I'm calling it. And I'm pretty excited to see if there was any development in there other than the one. And I'm kind of dreading it as well because they've been in there for uh, 40 days uh, with a lot of humidity and, uh, and heat. So, uh, I'm not sure uh, so I'm not quite sure what to expect when I crack them open and if there will be a smell. a lot of things happening at the farm at the moment. Uh, the lambs have been let out. Uh, they were pretty happy for that. Now they have access to fresh air and, uh, and a little grass. I used a hot wire netting fence to, to keep them in. I me I'll make a bigger pen for them eventually. Tomorrow uh, I'm expecting pigs. There will be four piglets that's coming to the farm. I'm also trying to figure out if I want to do another run in the brooder with uh, duck eggs. That will be another month and since I'm not sure that the brooder works, maybe I'll just go and buy some ducklings instead. They've also started making hay out on the fields. Uh, it's the first cut of the year and it looks uh, okay. The fertilizer cost this year is uh, blown through the roof because of the war. So I don't think they use too much artificial fertilizer this year. Also the bale plastic uh, prices have, have exploded and the diesel cost is at a record high. Uh, yesterday it was 27 Norwegian kroners per one liter of diesel. Now the tractors use a different kind of diesel with uh, with different taxes, so it's cheaper, but that is also uh, about 20 kroners per liter this year. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty hard to be a farmer right now. I, I'm not feeling it though. I'm producing and making only food for myself. I'm renting out the fields. 
Um, but there's a lot of farmers around here and uh, they have a pretty hard time at the moment. I have a feeling there will be a smell, so I thought it would be better to do this outside. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited and also a little bit scared to, to do this. Some of them are uh, heavy, some of them are lighter, like this one. Um, <laughs> there's only one way to figure this out, and that is to, uh, and that is to just do this. Maybe there's a mutant alien duckling that will Pandora's box on me, like ah! and... <laughs> Pandora's box, Jack in the box. You know the thing that. Uh... All right, so let's just get into it. This one does not weigh anything. And this feels just like a dried up regular egg, so this one was probably not fertile. This is definitely a little duck, um, but with quite a lot of the eggs still intact, so this was uh, far along in the development, but somehow it stopped. I'm gonna put this camera behind me so that you can see Okay, I'll, I'll speed this up a bit so that you don't have to watch every one, but... And that's also a little duck. It's fully developed, so I don't understand why he just wouldn't come out. It's the weirdest thing. Uh, I have 24 that are almost uh, fully developed. It, it seems like the only thing left would be to come out of the shell. And it looks like they are developed equally as well. I thought the smell wasn't bad, but my friend Henning arrived and he, uh, he has some projects in the barn and he could tell that it, the smell is unbelievable. Uh, I guess I'm just uh, full of snot, so I don't, so I don't feel it, <laughs> thankfully. I have two left, the one that was able to poke a hole but did not come out, and and this one, and let's start with this. Ah, what a bummer, that, <laughs> that was not exciting at all. It was just some dried up uh, egg yolk. And now we have this little one, we can see the fur is um, poking out of the hole. And this guy is dry uh, while the others are uh, still wet. And that's because he was able to make the hole. So he has just dried out. But it seems and looks like that he's um, equally developed. And that means that the other ones was just uh, days or hours away from starting to get out. In some cultures, this is actually a delicacy. I don't think it's my cup of tea though. I will not eat them. Okay, so out of 40 eggs, I have 24 uh, almost fully developed fetuses that have not come out of the egg. I've talked to some neighbors and when they're hatching, they have set their humidity to 60% instead of 50 like I have, and 80% uh, the last couple of days before hatching. So I'm thinking that's the reason why uh, this happened. So I will do a test run in the machine again uh, with not so many eggs. And I've ordered a few newborn ducklings so that I will have ducks this year. If you have any other theories on why this happened, uh, feel free to let me know. Now I'm gonna go into the boat and collect some fence posts so that I can make a fence for the pigs so they can come out when they get here. Until then, thank you for watching. See you next time. Toodaloo.